Hi YouTube, it is Joe here, I'm a part-time eBay reseller from South East London and um, yeah, just I've not done a video in absolutely ages, I think it's coming up to a year and uh, some of the young people I work with have found my YouTube channel and they're mocking me about it and they're telling me my videos are useless and that I haven't done one for ages and yeah, they, they need to be edited better and they need to have better thumbnails and all that sort of stuff, which I totally agree with them about, but I just don't have the time to do that and I'm, yeah, that's not really my cup of tea at all. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my videos in the past, I, I just tend to sort of run through things that I've picked up, um, things that I've yeah picked up, what I'm selling them for, things to look out for. Nothing, nothing particularly groundbreaking, just pretty standard stuff. But I tend to go through it fairly quick just to give you some ideas. Um, I've been wait, I, I've been going out pretty much most weeks. Um, and yeah, it's been pretty decent stuff that I've been finding. This was this was from this week, um, which was particularly good. So I thought it's, now is as good a time as any to get a video back going again. Um, so yeah, so I'll whiz through what I've picked up and yeah, tell you sort of some of the things to look out for, some of the things that I find to do do reasonably well with. Um, just as a quick update to my eBay selling and so on. I mean, like I think like most people, still still plodding along, doing all right. Um, some things seem a bit tougher than they had been previously when eBay did all the updates about three or four months back. It's seemed like yeah all the item specifics seemed like things slowed down a little bit then but generally doing all right just sort of plodding along with what I do and yeah saying a little bit more on Depop than I've done previously dabbling in Amazon still yeah not really my cup of tea but uh yeah I'll whisper what I picked up here um some of the prices I hope to get for it and yeah I hope it's uh helpful anyway it's nice to be back so if I start in the corner most of this stuff is from it's from Boot Sale but a couple of bits are from the charity shop this um at the back of this golf launch pad tour thing it's like brand new it's um you can hook it up with a ps3 or a um a, a pc and mac and so on it's you know sort of uh, the golf games comes with tiger woods game it's all brand new in the box i paid only paid five quid for it and they've sort of sold for about 100 quid i think as much as in the past but i think it more realistically it's going to be sort of like a 50 pound sort of uh, price but we'll see how we go with that uh, apples to apples board game that's one pound fifty it's not a, not a brilliant game but it's the uh, it's not a brilliant sale but it's the british isles version around christmas should look for about 15 to 20. this monster at the back i actually i didn't pick this up my wife picked this up in a bin um she saw it in a bin and she recognized it or sort of half knew that it was worth something my wife doesn't really do anything um ebay wise particularly but so i was quite surprised that she actually spotted this guy and uh yeah it's not not particularly it's not worth loads it's got a bit of wear and tear but she'll get about 30 quid for it and then then at the back there there's the fred perry barrel bag it's missing the strap um i got that from a charity shop as well for a fiver um yeah it should should do about 25 quid for that i might keep it i don't know i'm undecided about that one um, for those of you who have watched videos in the past that I do, I do tend to find quite a lot of trainers. Uh, it's just the area that I'm based in. Um, so, yeah, did all right. on These are all from uh, the boot sale from Saturday morning. I've got a pair of um, sort of white Reebok classic, you know, Exa Fit or something like that. They were, oh, they came with another pair of trainers and the guy wouldn't really budge on price, but I paid 15 for the two. Um, this pair of Nike Air Force One white high tops, really good condition, uh, size 7, paid up on those, paid 12 quid, but should be about 40 to 45 back on them. And yeah, superstars at the back were 3 quid, I think. Not a particularly great pair, but quite a nice pattern on them, should be about 20 quid. These were 2 quid, they're a pretty beat up pair of 90s. Um, yeah, I'll put them in the washing machine, I tend not to put too many pairs of trainers in the washing machine if I can help it, um, especially ones with the bubbles and so on. But uh, yeah, they should come up reasonably well. And because they're quite a popular pair, even buying them in that condition should do all right with. Um, a few more pairs. Yeah, another pair of just Air Force One size fours. They're not a great size and they're missing an inner sole, but they were four quid and should look for about 25 to 30 on them. This is probably the most interesting pair of trainers I picked up this week. Um, another pair of Air Force Ones, but they're a, sort of a baseball pack and they're representing this team, the New York Cubans. Um, yeah, when you sort of see Air Force that are, you know, sort of really out there, um, yeah, sometimes worth looking them up, seeing what you've got. Um, these are sold previously for about £100, but they're obviously in better condition. These, as you can see, the rims have gone a little bit yellow, um, which is a shame, but, you know, should still do all right on them. Stick them on for 100 quid. they're size 9, and then take offers on them. So, yeah, pretty pleased with those. Um, and then a couple of pairs of just sort of cheaper trainers, just a pair of Converse Slim, sort of size 4 or 5. They're pretty beat up. They're a quid, and so were these, um, yeah, so were these... Uh, 
Vans, skate shoes, you know, they're a quid as well. They're pretty marked and stuff like that. But again, you should sort of get about 15 quid back on each of them, hopefully. These were really nice as well, this pair of 95s. Um, considering the age of them, they're sort of from 2005. You can tell that by, um, if you look on the label here, let me just focus it. On the right hand side under the 24 cent, 24.5 centimeters, you've got the date. And then also here where my thumb is there, that's the code. Um, if you key that code into Google, 313070, um, it will bring up the trainer and then the 541 is the colorway. So yeah, just uh, gives you a bit of an idea about them. And yeah, should I mean, they're in really, I'd say really good condition. The, the front bubbles have, uh, have clouded out, but they often do that, especially when they're this old, but the tread and everything is excellent. It's got the spare laces in the box. So it should look for about sort of 65 to 70 on them. Really try and push the, push the boat out a bit on them. Uh, come back over here, just stick with this. Uh, this is a, I used to live not too far from Luton. First football game I ever went to see was Luton Town player. They won 4-1. Um, but yeah, Luton shirts, sort of late 90s, I think sort of 97. Really big. Um, should look to get, I paid five quid for this out of a charity shop yesterday and should look to get about 50 quid back on that. Um, and then also this uh, Germany shirt from 2012. These are all over the sort of shop with the prices. Um, the ones with the numbers on tend to not sell for as much, but these plain ones, this medium, paid five quid for that one as well. And that should be, yeah, probably about sort of, 30 to 40 maybe more they have sold for 60 quid in the past a couple of bits i bought off one guy from the boot sale he had um this pair of oakley sunglasses they're oakley oakley uh, 4.1s oakley fives um yeah and they're not not a particularly expensive high-end version but i paid 12 quid for them and the boxed um polaroid camera should look to get about i don't know about 30 pound back on the glasses and then you know polaroids i'm, I'm not in that clued up on what Polaroids are going for at the moment, probably about 20 quid on that, something like that. Come over here, pick these up uh, today. Uh, they were priced up and I paid £10 for each of these. That's the Spode Christmas tree uh, jug. And then there's four of these candy cane mugs. The jug's not worth quite as much as I thought, but I sort of saw them together. Uh, the jug was goes for about 20 to 25. They're both new and never been used. And then the, but the cups are really, um, they're pretty decent. They'll go for about 35 to 40. So that was a nice find. Picked up this Kramer wand today as well out of a charity shop. This is the sort of the TV wand. If anyone's seen those, they sort of control things. I couldn't see a price on it anywhere, and I was about to, and I asked the lady at the back, oh, what's the price on that? And I've bought these in the past, and I know I've paid about, I paid a tenner for one, still made money on it, so I thought, I was, as long as it's nothing too more, um, not, not much more than that, it should be all right. And then she was saying, oh, I think it's probably about a tenner. And then as she turned over, there was actually a, a, a sticker on one corner of it. And it was priced at £3.50. So did quite well on that. And just looking online now, they're going still for about 25 to 30 And again, Christmas, good time to sell it. And it's pretty much brand new. Um, nothing exciting here, just a couple of Disney DVDs. It's a Frozen, New and Sealed, Blu-ray and Tangled. So I pay a quid for these, 50p for these at the boot sale and then do tend to bundle them up and sell them either locally on Facebook, Marketplace or yeah, in bundles online. Uh, 50p just for House of the Dead 2 and 3. Not a particularly great game, but again, bundle up, do all right with those. These come out of a charity shop as well. These three Harry Potter, uh, Stephen Fry audio books, paid a fiver for each of them. Gone are the days, sadly, when you could get like 50 quid for those, um, but they're still sort of 20s to 30 pounds, depending on how patient you're willing to be with them. So, yeah, quite happy of each of them. Uh, I picked up a bundle of cassettes. These were the guy wanted, I, I think I paid a, a pound for all of them. And I'm not really, I'm, I wouldn't necessarily bother with cassettes, but oh, there's a Bob Marley one as well. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't normally bother with cassettes, but because uh, it was this sort of DP, two, three, four, five, six, I thought I could do them as a little bundle. I've sold this. Um, this album on vinyl in the past i know it's very different on cassette but you know there's a little bit of money in those nothing amazing um one guy surprisingly he also had these he had some uh yeah playstation games they were all a quid each a couple of them been water damaged um but uh, yeah some pretty reasonable titles destruction derby one and two will go to bundle crash bandicoot metal gear solid they're all yeah easy sellers good sellers and then finally, just over here again, the same guy, he had a real sort of ragtag bunch of stuff, but uh, he had uh, some games again, and the Mega Drive games, and I think I paid, he wanted 50p each for the games, so yeah, I paid £2.50 for the games there. Um, this wasn't in his bundle, this was, I got this about a month ago. Um, I wasn't the first to see a big bag of uh, Mega Drive games, Some another, another buyer had seen them. And he picked them up. I don't know what he paid for them. I think he probably paid about 60 quid for them, 60, 70 quid, maybe. I don't know. He, he was being a bit he was being a bit secretive about it, which is understandable. But then he said, did I want to buy them straight off him? And I went to his car. And as I was walking to his car, I thought, you know, you just see 
one or two quality games and you know it doesn't really matter what price he's going to be asking and I saw Streets of Rage 3 and I knew that that was obviously a really high-end premium game and I asked him how much he wanted for it and the whole bag he had about eight he had um didn't have yeah he had about I think there was about 70 games in there in total and uh he wanted 100, 140 quid I think I paid for it in the end or I might have given him 150 140 or 150 but I sold all the dross for like 140 quid loads of the individual games have gone I've still got this up priced on at about 135 quid so and you know I probably expect it to go for about 120 but loads of money in that and that was quite good shame I didn't get to see them first and had to pay up a little bit on them but I knew it was well worth doing Anyway, that's a quick, uh, quick catch up, quick uh, yeah, rundown of what I've been up to. Um, I will try and do a few more sort of videos re fairly regularly. I'm quite fortunate that the boot sales around my way do sort of go all year round. So there is still opportunities to get out and find stuff. But anyway, that's a bit from me. I hope you're all doing well, um, getting ready for Christmas, etc. And yeah, I'll be in contact, hopefully, hopefully. I can't promise anything, but a bit more than I have been previously. All right, cheers then. Bye-bye.